It's your favorite loke, especially after I spoke. Support the real again. Get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How do you fight back? It's simple. All you got to do is just press subscribe, then join the movement over there on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H. One word. That's for you and I can stay in contact. Plus, I'm going to like your pictures and all that. We have 75,000, so we done matched. But when I can, I'm going to follow you back. To the crew, that's the truth. We're out with the visionaries. Let's get into it. Kwando <laughs> Rondo admits and reiterates he had no issues with King Von before but your folks did not only on top of that it ain't just that what happened to King Von it's what happened afterwards when you ha 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 and then all passed out and, and acting like you you're like come on bro for real Either you don't want to get it or you just don't get it. It's no two ends about that. Like, none whatsoever. Either you don't get it or you don't want to get it. There's a way to say, damn, I wish none of that happened, bro. It didn't have to be that serious, man. I never had no problems with Buddy. You know, Killers was cool. Last I checked with him, I didn't know it was static like that and everything like that. But then you got King Von making crazy story and all this story and then you so happen to make the song in the story immediately now we understood billionaire black making the song but you making the song when you ain't even on that type of time didn't make sense and let me reiterate for those who don't understand about something that Quando Rondo did not do and that was the check in part and him and Big U will get into it and they'll admit it and everything like that. I really know what's, you know, the, the, the details behind that. But I'm going to say this. Quando Rondo was trying to say face, not trying to check in and get some L.A. versus Chicago, some rolling 60s versus the BDs and everything like that, or none of that shit. Quando Rondo got kids or young soldiers that's ready to crash out for him, so he technically don't need nobody. We're just going to keep that all the way honest. But the timing of it was definitely terrible. Now, I could get on to what Brick Baby said and everything like that and all that, bruh. But if we're going to be honest, Brick Baby messed with them up over there. And the timing of it definitely is funny looking. We're just going to keep it a stack bundle. So in the Brick Baby situation, he was 100% right. But he comes from a biased standpoint because he messed with King Von. He messed with Lil Durk and all them. And that's not a worldwide 60 problem. It's not. They try to make it that way. But it ain't. But back to <laughs> Quando Rondo. Either you don't get it or you just won't get it, bro. This First off, the gangster image. The gangster image. That was more King Von image than it was yours. That's number one, the image. Secondly, the response. The response is one of the things that made people say, nah, we not feeling you, bro. And I told people, I think that Quando Rondo is a better rapper. Lyrically, I think Quando Rondo is a better lyricist than Lil Durk. I'm going to tell the truth. I don't care. Yo. No. No, no, this is unbiased. Y'all should learn this by now about me. But if we going to tell all the way the truth, Quando Rondo butchered handling that situation. And y'all can say, you know, what was he supposed to do, Nash? That don't even make sense, bro. Like, he had a right to defend himself. You are absolutely true. And you are absolutely right. But there's a way in which you go to defend yourself. All he would have had to do is, man, free my little brother and everything like that and all that. If he would have never titled that song in the story, that would have been cool. He could have put it something like my side of the glass or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or these pairs of eyes or something like that. You could have made it more provocative to say, look, bro, this is what's going to happen when you in these streets like that. It's just typical. But now you're running around like big 
gang leader and all this shit and everything like that. And I'm not saying that's not you, and I'm not saying you a punk, you a bitch, you a... I'm not saying none of that, bro. I'm not saying any of that. I'm simply and merely stating the fact, and the fact is this. You didn't learn to shut the fuck up and stay home business. You just didn't. And it's coming back to now, you got to do this whole entire repair ass image thing and you still going about it the wrong way. You still going about it the wrong way. And this is why I tell all these rappers, bro, that be watching this shit, get you a publicist. Hell, y'all can hire me $100,000 easy. $100,000 easy before you post anything. Let me, let me take a look at that real quick. Before you send that text message off, let me take a look at that real quick. Before you go make this stop right here in this city, let me take a look at that for you real quick. Culture, language, even image are ten amounts of your goddamn success. Some of y'all won't figure it out until it's too late, until your ass is out of the door. Some of y'all, not all y'all. Quando Rondo, all he would have had to do, one, you would not have put that song out like that. None of that stuff. You could have showed it like, what's cuz now? Glasses Malone showed it for when Baby Lane basically did what he did. The whole other side of that. I would have came out with a video like that, bro. Like, man, what the hell going on out here? Then boom, you get hit. Next thing you know, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we could have did that. Then you could immediately issue the statement, man, unfortunate things happen and everything like that. We want to pray and wish for best parties over here. Look how Jack Harlow handled the situation with a girl that got killed. His homie is the alleged shooter. But Jack Harlow on both sides trying to calm down the situation. It seemed like y'all not really interested. And yeah. You get your bullshit record sales. You've been doing a million per on each video you've been doing. Shout out to you. But at the end of the day, is it really helping you? And that's the question that has to be asked. Let's keep it real. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street of Music, Setting Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video. Oh, you want to learn how to win that free Xbox or PlayStation to concert tickets? Or just a gift card in general? Simple. Be an active subscriber. What does that mean? The more you like, the more you comment, the more you share these videos, the higher your chances are increased to win. Simple. We're going to give away that specific item that you choose at 60,000 subscribers. That's six zero. Make sure, make sure you increase your chances to win. This is free to y'all. It's only costing me. And I'm going to personally deliver it to you. How you like the sound of that? Cool? Catch you at the next video. Check out the previous videos too.